Um, let's talk about what that negative exponent means, though. Okay, and um, I want to go to the rules for math, uh, accumulation math, real quick. Do you see this on my screen? Yes. Sir. Okay. All right. So we've got uh, basic concept E properties of negative exponents. Okay, they do like to test you on negative exponents. Take a look at that, and we see that three to the power of negative two okay. is just one over three squared. One over three to the power of two. So all they've done there, if you see a negative exponent, all you got to do is just flip the numerator and denominator. That's it. It's called the inverse. So you're still finding three squared, but you're just finding one over three squared. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. If you see a negative exponent, you're probably going to get a fraction. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go back to this question here. So we've got five. We're trying to figure out five to the power of negative three, okay? We know it's a negative exponent, so we know we're gonna take the inverse, right? Flip the numerator and denominator, and it, right? So there's an implied one, you know, underneath five. Five is the same as five over one. Is that clear that five is the same as five over one? Yes. Okay, all right. So basically, we're just gonna put that five to the power of three in the denominator. So we know at this point, it's one over five to the power of three. So far, does that make sense? Yes. Any other answer choices we can eliminate so far? Just knowing that a negative exponent means you flip the numerator and denominator. Any other answer choices we can get rid of? E and A. Absolutely. D, right? It's not even a fraction. Let's just, you know, you've just, yeah, let's just, no, it's not D. And it's not going to be A. How do you know it's not going to be A? Because it's five times five times five, not five times three. There you go. Absolutely. Five to the power of three means five times five times five. Okay? Not five times three. You are absolutely right. 